So this goes into this. Raise your hand if you think that uh, movies are usually better than the books. Raise your hand if you think books are usually better than movies. All right, all right, so full, full, full class. All right, so um, there's, this is the reason for that. Can anyone tell me why for you, personally, why? Go ahead. Because movies are bound by like the amount of technology we have, and books can just go anywhere. They don't have any limitations. They can <laughs> disguise them. Yes, they, they, don't, they don't have CGI. They don't need CGI because they have something better, which is what? Imagination. It's their imagination. So the reason why it goes along with that is this. The more abstract something is, the more we personalize and connect to it because it's our imagination doing all the high, like, screw CGI. Like, we, we have unlimited budget up here. All right, so, um, so it goes into this. Um, here's a quick exercise. I'm going to give you a word. I want you to picture the following. Here we go. What is going through your head? I'll call on you. What's going through your head, Dante? Uh, swimsuit models. Swimsuit models. Okay. All right. Donovan? I just picture a woman like touching a hot skillet or something. Burn a or woman something. touching a hot skillet. <laughs> awesome. Like screaming more. Like she's screaming too. <laughs> like she's doing this on purpose. <laughs> hot! And that's what it looks like. Awesome, awesome. All right. What about you? I picture the sun. You picture the sun. Look at you, all scientific and stuff. All right. Um, this is what I picture, and this is the, this is why movies fail. All right. Like that. I'm picturing that. What the reason why movies fail is because you guys put yourselves into it. Like you're picturing something hot. Swimsuit. I like how you didn't say it was a guy or a girl. Like. Right. <laughs> like you're picturing something weird with a woman with a hot skillet. Experience. Personal experience. That's awesome. Are we talking about your mom? Yeah. Okay, okay. Didn't mean to put you on the spot. Alright. I'm just kidding guys, I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about this. Alright. Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth is like one of the hottest guys. And Natalie Portman is cute too. But I don't care. Coming out and saying it, Chris Hemsworth's hot, right? Anyways, my idea, my, my reason for this though is that you guys all have different ideas of what hot is. Same thing with abstract words too. You guys already just fill in the blanks. And there's no way that a movie could get that right. No way a movie can get as good as what you have in here. So that's the reason why movies will always be lesser than books. They will always be lesser than books. You right? put it the wrong way. Yeah, that's the, that's the <laughs> oh, more than books, less than books. Okay, there you go, there you go. All right, going along with this idea, bling, 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 all right, nothing like this, keep on going, more abstract. Here we go, I'm gonna give you another example of Charlie Brown. This is Charlie Brown in real life. Some parent took a Sharpie and drew on their kid, all right, yeah. Kind of messed up. This is this is um, a little bit more concrete. Charlie Brown. Can you imagine if this kid were to come at you in the hallway? <laughs> Poor guy. He's terrifying. That would be terrifying. I don't know. I don't know how his neck works. How it can hold up that globule, huge head. All right. And this is the Charlie Brown that we know. All right. And now we're gonna be like, huh? All right. That's he's back to normal now. Horrible, terrifying, <laughs> but then you look at the, this and you're like, but that's not so bad, even though it looks totally like this, and that's the reason why, is because it's more abstract, like we're more, we're more able to fill in what we want to with that. So, <clears throat> the more concrete something is, the less that we fill it in, and the more other it is, because someone else is telling you what the burger looks like. The more abstract it is, the more we fill it in with us, and the more us it is of us. So if you're driving down the highway, this totally works, this totally makes sense. You're driving down the highway and you see that this is there. You have a picture in your head that'll make you want to turn off the highway, right? If they showed you a picture which failed to meet your standard of what a burger is, then they just lost the customer. Does that make sense? All right, so they give you something where you have to fill it in and then you're in, right? You're hooked, right? So it's totally awesome how 
the idea of icons can use you against yourself, right? To make it so you're, you want to go one way or another. So that being said, when you get the comics, <coughs> why are comics drawn in an abstract way then? Taking this, this lesson, then why? Why draw it like this? Why not go for realism, every little scratch, every little hair? Go ahead. Because every detail they leave out is something you can fill in and relate to yourself. That's it, it makes a superhero who is you have nothing in common with, you don't have any superpowers, it makes you able to relate to them. Exactly. Right. How, do you, how do you root for the character? They make you put yourself into the character. It's genius. All right. You have anything to add to it? No, I'm fine. Okay. All right. He's such fine. Right. Now we take it to another level, and then we're almost there, guys. Take it to another level. This is what comic book artists do, which is awesome, that I have yet to see in books. They take abstract and they put it with concrete, and this is what happens. So this is this is Cerebus, uh, like a 1990s character, totally abstract. Like you don't see people walking around like this, unless you're at SakuraCon, and then they're they're cosplaying like this, right? But not not normal, not concrete, totally abstract. And then what this author does is he gives you this abstract picture, makes you fill in yourself with it, makes you identify with it, and then they do this. That's Cerebus right there, and he puts, they put Cerebus in this backdrop of nothing but realism. Like, look how, look at the realism of this. Like, you have the three studios who are drawn as like photos. And what this does, look at, look at the beauty of this. This huge Sistine Chapel-like place, all right. What they're doing here is they're taking this abstract person, which is you, you've just filled yourself in it, and they're putting you in a totally alien place, just from using concreteness, and the idea of abstract icons. Like they just transported you there without you knowing it. Very cool. Japanese manga does the same thing. People do not look like this. Well, some people look like this, right? But people don't have antenna coming off unless they're cosplaying at uh, SakuraCon. Um, but you see this, and if you look at the background, it is very photorealistic. So what they're doing, once again, is taking the reader and transporting them in a place that is alien to them, all in one glimpse, which is very cool. All right. um, the idea of comics having a history older than the written word, the idea that comics use both abstract and concrete icons to transport the reader themselves, um, this is something that I've only found in comics. Like Movies are getting there too, but comics are the ones that made it a thing. So. And that's that. We'll, we'll be going over this uh, more in detail later on in this, uh, this semester, so that's it. That. All right, guys, thank you very much. All right.